Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and I hope everybody and their families are doing well. It's a little windy out here, but anyway, it's better than the snow, right? So as you saw from the time lapse, bam. See me unboxing, it's not a, just a regular old license plate frame. I'm pretty sure you guessed it, it lights up. So it's very good for safety. Also, it's a little bit flashy. You don't see a lot of people around who has it. This actually acts as a running light and a brake light. In the box, you get, they give you some taps, they give you some uh, screw and a ring terminal to ground it in. Got some zip ties in there. They give you your directions. So you have three wires right here. The white is the ground. The brown is the running light. The red is the brake light. So what we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be hardwiring it in. I'm not gonna be using any of their taps. I hate taps like these. I have my own, so you're gonna need taps wire stripper, you're gonna need a tester, and this bad boy right here, that's mine, that's a thermocell. It's good for freaking mosquitoes. The good thing, I must tell you, the good thing about this license plate frame is that, see this section right here? It's not thick. Reason why, I have customized plates or frames on the Hulk right here. And if you see this, it's not covering the state you're in. If anything here is impeding any part of the plate like that, you can get a ticket for it. So I really like this aspect about it. And I will throw this in the description so you can order it. Guys, this thing is cheap. I think it was like 30 bucks or something like that. So I'll just show you how to wire it in. That's it. All right, guys. So also what I wanted to mention, I took the liberty of connecting the taps and I also took the, some of the guesswork out for you underneath the truck. I ended up uh, grounding my tester, tapping into the wires to let you know, because I've done this so many times before, so I can actually tell you what the wires are gonna be. So separate the red, this white, underneath on the seven point trailer hitch, I'll put a diagram up. This white wire is the ground, so we're gonna be literally connecting white to white. The brown, is going to be the running light now underneath there's a yellow wire the yellow wire on the seven point trailer hitch is the brake light which is this red wire right here so white to white brown to brown yellow i mean or uh, red to yellow white to white brown to brown red to yellow and i will tell you guys again warning when you're using a tester guys make sure you clip this piece on a proper ground told you before there's a lot of pieces on a car that look like metal feel like metal but they're not good grounds so make sure you have a good ground underneath the car uh, on the truck the exhaust pipe is definitely a really 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 good ground I've tested wires so what I'm gonna do is as I said before on the on the seven pin trailer hitch I am gonna, I have an extension that's tapped off of the seven pin trailer hitch and it's from a four pin extension. So there's four colors on there. I think it's white, brown, yellow, and green. So the white is gonna go to the white, the brown is gonna go to the brown, and the red wire on this license plate frame is gonna go to the yellow. And that's really it. All right guys, for shits and giggles, I'm just gonna show you real quick. So I tapped into the various wires already. Remember, yellow, white, and brown. So the brown wire is the running light. So what I did was I switched on the light. I have the tester. The negative part of it is connected to the exhaust. So for a good ground. So, so I have the light on. So this is, I'll show you how the light, the brown wire is the running light. See what I'm saying? So now the white wire, that's the ground that I'll be connecting the license plate frame to. The yellow wire, that's gonna act as the brake light. So the brake light, you know, you hit the brake, it's gonna illuminate even brighter. And this is the running light right here. And that's really it. So now I'm just gonna tap the stuff into the wires and we'll see if it works. And by the way, as I told you before, that's where the tester is connected to. 
perfect ground. So guys, I wanted to show you, this is what the seven pin trailer hitch looks like. So you have all your necessary wires right here. You got your ground, you have your yellow light, which is your brake light and turn signals. You have that red wire right there, which is your constant 12 volts. You have your brown wire, which is your running light. So you would just have to unclip this and tap into the wire. As I told you before, all my, I have this four pin extension here that I tapped into the seven pin trailer hitch to make it easy. This one red wire right here, it's a the constant 12 volts I have running to my mic tuning bed lights. I will throw the videos up top so at least you can go back and reference it. And that's really it. So let me connect this stuff up. All right, guys, so it's hooked up. Here we go. There you have it. Hit the brake. Nice. So obviously, she hit the brake, it'll shut off, but that's the concept. Let go. Hit it again. Perfect. All right, guys, so you see it works. I just got to hook it up. All right, so I just took the plate off. This is the backing here. This is for the four pin. This is for the seven pin. Pretty familiar. So now away. So you see the wires are running from the bottom of the frame right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unplug the taps and I'm going to run them through either. It's probably uh, this port has the path of least resistance. So I'm probably running through this port right here and take it back around because I have enough wires so it's not a big deal. So that's what you're gonna see me doing next and then I'm gonna just button it up. guys so in a nutshell what the time lapse showed you was that you see me cleaning down the plate the backing and everything else and what you see me do was I end up cutting all three wires in order to run black heat shrink so I ran the heat shrink to hold down the wires at its highest point in sections so and that's why you can't see anything under here I ran it through that hole brought it back around and I rejoined it once I rejoined it I took the wire conduit and I had to run it, zip tied it up, ran it all the way to where it's tapped into. And that's it. It's time for the moment of truth. Woo! So there you have it. Beautiful license plate frame light that acts as a running light and a brake light. Guys, you know what to do. Click that subscribe button, like, definitely comment. Let me know what you think. Everything is gonna be in the description and I'll do some night shots for you. See y'all soon, peace. All right, check this out. So remember a couple minutes back, I said I ran into an anomaly. Let me tell you what that is. So you see how the plate was here. So at the end, I said I was gonna do some night shots for you guys. Guess what? While I'm doing the night shot, the running light works perfect. The brake light works perfect. All of a sudden, my daughter throws on the turn signal <clears throat> and the left side is blinking and it's flashing, which is cool. 
she throws on the right side because I'm like, yo, this thing is actually going to, this thing is actually pretty cool. It's actually blinking with a turn signal. But let me tell you what ended up happening. <clears throat> it didn't blink and my strobes weren't working because, because there's only three wires. These rams, their turn signal and brake wires are one wire. So there's one wire for each side. You get what I'm saying? <clears throat> so now look. So now when I connected, when I connected the red wire, so the white wire is the ground, the brown wire is the running light. When I connected this red wire right here to the yellow, the yellow controls the brake and driver's side turn signal and the green controls the passenger brake meaning it controls the brake and passenger turn signal that's what ended up happening <clears throat> so now i'm like shit this sucks now i'm gonna have to just leave it as literally a running light but i was tr following some wires along here because i'm like in my infinite wisdom i didn't know this existed and i saw one random wire up here and this random wire right here I didn't know what the hell this was so <laughs> I went online did a, uh, you know I do my due diligence I did my research and this right here Dodge actually said to themselves hey you know what somebody might have to run an extra brake light because you remember on these rams you can actually put a cab on the top of the trailer so this is a separate standalone brake light and I'm gonna show you. So since I ain't got nobody to help me, take a weight, put the weight on the brake pedal, take the tester. As I said before, the exhaust is a really good ground. Bam. I see all my brake lights are working. Okay, let's put this bad boy on. So in case anybody's wondering, it's a white wire with a purple stripe on it. And it's actually, so when you follow the wire harness, it's right where the, on the driver's side, where the spare is, you'll see one just standalone wire just hanging out by itself. Check this out. Bam, and that's the brake. So now what I'm gonna do is extend this wire and run it to the brake and that'll solve my problem. Cause I really thought this shit was just gonna be a failed project, but no, we do it again. Okay, so this is the conduit here where all three wires are. And what I did was I branched off. That's just one single wire. I extended it, brought it to this hole in this uh, in the frame, zip tied right here, obviously. Brought it up, tapped it in right here. Electrical tape, conduit has a little bit of play in it. Conduit helps for no chafing, and that's it. So let's test it out. <laughs> <laughs> 